Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I do want to apologize if you hear some noise in the background. I do have a fan going over here because it is 106 degrees outside and we can't have the air conditioner running all the time. So this fan is keeping me from dying. I hope it's not too loud, but if it is, I do apologize. But today we have something rather exciting. Normally when I do LOL surprises, I rarely open up the boy dolls, but since coming home, I found a few laying around my room so I figured I'd go ahead and open them in one video so I'm really really excited it's been a while since I've opened one of the lol surprise boys and I have four different series here so yeah I'm really excited just to get these open so if you want to see these unbox let's go ahead and get started so what I'm gonna do to make this go a little faster is just go ahead and take all the plastic wrap off camera we will go ahead and take a look at the packaging first and then like I said I'll go ahead and do that off camera as I said I do have four different series series here. So this is series one. I know that I didn't like anyone in series two, so that's why I don't have one of those. There are a few in here that I'm really hoping to get, so hopefully we get someone good. Then we do have this one. I love the little character on this one. I really hope to get that one. This is the LOL Surprise Boy series three, and this one has some really good ones in there as well. I think I've only ever opened one of these before, and the series one, I know I've definitely opened at least four of them. Not on the channel but just in general then we do have one of the series four i've never seen the checklist for this i don't know who's in it and i've never opened one of these so i'm really excited to see who we could possibly get and then the last one that we do have for the video i think is the newest lol boy series i'm not too excited about this one i had done a walmart online order and i tried to order more series three of the boys and they actually sent me this one by mistake i was gonna return it but they were like nah just keep it so that's the only reason i have this one i'm just not a fan because I know you do have to put this in water to remove like the hair. I don't know. I'm just not into it, but hopefully we get someone good. So like I said, I think this is the latest series. This is series five, but if there is a new boy series, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll try to look for one. But that's all the ones that we have to unbox today. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just take all the plastic wrapping off off camera and then we will be right back to open them up. All right, friends. So I have them all opened up as far as the plastic outer wrapping. I am loving like absolutely loving the color of the capsules. Each one of them is so pretty and I'm really liking these ones right here because they're a matte finish but the gold is also really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and open them in series order. So I have one, three, four, and five. So we'll go ahead and start with one and then end with five. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Okay guys, so I actually just opened everything and I thought I was filming and I absolutely wasn't. So I literally just took everything out of the blind bags but since I wasn't filming, that's not something you can redo. So now I'm just gonna have to show you each thing outside of it. All right, so here we have our little friend. I actually already have two of him, so that's quite disappointing. I was really hoping to get someone else, but he's still very cute. This is one that I really, really wanted, so I'm not disappointed. It's always just nice to get someone you don't have, but regardless, still a very cute one. We'll go ahead and take a look at his checklist real quick. So for series one, the series was quite small, so it is a lot easier to get duplicates when you only have a few of them, but it looks like we have Dosey Dude, which is really, really cute. He was just a common one. I honestly was really hoping to find Boy Next Door. Like I said, I think I've opened three or four of these already, three of them being him, so that's unfortunate. But like I said, nonetheless, he's still absolutely adorable. All right, now we'll go on to series three.
my goodness. For some reason, I did not expect this one with those clothes. So that's very interesting. I don't even know if I ever saw this one on the checklist. I have opened one series three before, so I'm not that familiar with everyone in this series. This one's really cute though. I love, love, love his hair and I love his brown eyes. That's not a color you see a lot with LOL, so I really do like this. I cannot wait to get him dressed up, but we'll go ahead and take a look at his checklist. So here is the checklist. I really, really like this one. What I like to do with these, since they have like the picture on the back, is kind of hang these up like posters. So that's something you can do instead of just throwing these away. But here is the checklist, and it looks like we got Steezy. I definitely don't remember him. He's probably not one that I wanted. I really either wanted Slick or far out or the one that looks like Justin Timberlake. So I really think that I'm going to try to get another one of these, but he's still adorable nonetheless. Oh my goodness. So I actually lied. I think I have opened up a series four before because I definitely know who he is and I definitely wanted him. So I'm so excited to have gotten one that I really want. I already see a problem with this doll, which this is one of the most irritating things that ever happens with an LOL. You can tell that his head does not sit right just the way it is. Like that little ball thing is supposed to be all the way in his neck. So when they're like that, the heads just fall off like nobody's business or like they end up like that. I absolutely hate that. It just means that the plastic inside was not cut big enough for the ball joint. So I really actually really hate that. It really bothers me. But nonetheless, he is super cute. I love his hair. We'll go ahead and take a look at his checklist real quick. So yes, I definitely have opened up one of these before because I really wanted the Calamity Lux because every series they've had sort of a cowboy one. And so far, the only cowboy one I've ever received is the one from series one. But I also really want this one. He just really reminds me of the 60s so I really like him but this is Jet Setter and it looks like he's a fancy so kind of a common but it's totally fine. I actually did want him because I have his sister which is Jet Set Cutie. She did come in an advent calendar that I opened up. If you haven't seen that video I'll link it in the ad cards as well as the description but I love when I can add a family member to an lol family so it's pretty cool. All right so now we're on to our last one for the video and this one is from series five. I know this one does require water. I I absolutely forgot the water, so I'll have to get that later on. Ooh, this one actually looks pretty cool. So what you do with these is get some water and take off all this fuzziness. And this is supposed to help kind of just remove it. Honestly, I really like his hair. So I have a feeling this one is gonna be quite a cute one. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the water feature off camera. So this is him and I hope he looks even cuter with the little stuff off. I would hate that if he looked creepy, but we'll take a look at his checklist real quick. I've never seen anyone unbox the series five. I've never looked at the checklist or anything like that. So first time for everything 
right? Ah, so it looks like we have some cuties in this one. I really like this one. Ooh, well, no, there's not really too many I would want. Maybe just this one and this one and this one. But it looks like we got Merboy. So I'm assuming that he goes with Merbabe or Merbaby. She's one of the original LOLs. So that's actually pretty cute. He looks like he's going to be adorable with the fuzzy stuff off. So I can't wait to see him. All right, friends. So there's absolutely everyone we're opening for today's video. I definitely think that I would keep buying the boys. Probably not as frequently. Probably if they were on clearance at a good price. And I would definitely make sure to look at the checklist or watch someone else's video before buying them because there are several in different series that I'm like, oh, I would only want one or oh, I definitely wouldn't want that one and I would have like a high chance of getting it. But all of the ones that I got today are absolutely adorable. Like I said, for this one right here, I believe that one was series three and his name is Steezy. I didn't expect to get him just because I don't even remember him from the checklist, but he's actually really adorable. He's one that I would definitely keep. The outfit's cute. The doll itself is really cute. The accessories are cute. So I really do like him him. Dosi dude would have been one of my favorites but like I said I already have two of him so not really shook anymore. If I had opened him for the first time I definitely would have been like hell yeah but still cute nonetheless. The only thing is his, his little shirt just is not fitting correctly and one of his shoes is like shorter than the other so it like makes him lean over but not a big deal. Now I did <laughs> want to say I had high hopes for the series 5 Mr. Merboy there. Really cute. Love 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 the outfit. I do have him in his little flippers here. So you can't put the shoes on in here. It's just his like bare feet, but it's really, really cute. Like I said, love the outfit, love the accessories, love the doll. I really, really do. But the experience of taking off that hair was not for me. It was not fun. It stressed me out. I'm sure it was fun for a kid and maybe it took a lot to get it off because it is older. So the glue sat there a little bit longer, but definitely not for me. You could still see tons of the residue it like will not come off so I'm very disappointed it's still all over his hair just not a good time I've tried everything like alcohol light nail polish remover hydrogen peroxide to get it off and nothing has worked and I wish they would have just put out regular ones no need for the water feature no need for the blind bags anymore just put out a good quality doll MJ please. But as you can see on our throne of favoritism, we have Jet Setter, who is definitely my favorite for this video. Other than his issue with the neck, he is really, really cute, really perfect. And like I said, I'm so excited to add him to that LOL family. I love his little camera accessory. It's a picture of his sister, so that's adorable. Obviously, the neck thing is a pretty big issue. It should not be like that. But since they are for display purpose only for me, I won't be messing with it, so it should be fine. But he definitely is my favorite for this video. They're all really, really cute. And like I said, I would buy the boys again if they were at a good price and the series offered something really cool. But overall, not a a terrible experience. In the comments below, let me know which one of these was your favorite or which LOL boy series you think is the best. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell. That way you can be notified of when the next LOL top unboxing goes up on the channel. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye friends.